started yet, believe it or not. So today we are drinking It's a really cool looking bottle. Can you read it properly? You read it inappropriately earlier today. It wasn't that inappropriate. <laughs> I thought it said bib and <laughs> F word, but it's bib and tucker. Okay. It's bib and tucker. Peerless quality, small batch bourbon whiskey. And then we're, I was trying to read this. It says, why it's a something times a tree. What are you seeing? Oh, you don't have I your glasses on. I see nothing. It might be why it's a fine time to drink, but it's, I don't know. Is it brown? It's brown. No. It is raised, but anyway, so we're, it, this is a bourbon. It's aged 10 years. Uh, 92 proof, 46 alcohol by volume, batch number two, bottle number 2649. And um, I'll read the rest. Of, there's no notes on this one, so, you know, there's no cheating. You can't read, like, oh, it was aged in an oak barrel. We have no idea. <laughs> we, had, we had to pre open the cork because it was like, hey, you left your, the jigger. Oh, that smells good. The jigger! Okay, the jigger. She's the expert pork herb, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little. Okay. Did you have to do anything with this one? No, no, no. And of course, I was attracted to this because of the bottle. Um, <laughs> I think we got this at Total Wine and more for our first trip there. I did. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's a lighter color than I expected. For the sweet, which to me is always honey. And the smell. There's no grass, there's no band-aids. No. There's no moss. I don't know if you get I don't I, I I'm curious for you, you guys out there if you've ever come across a bourbon whiskey that has that in it. Um in fact, bourbon is bourbon always corn? <laughs> I we're, we're not we don't profess to be knowledgeable at, at all. all. We just like to drink it and see you know, what it's we smell. It's just an excuse taste. to drink. <laughs> yes. But it smells fruity and sweet to me. <coughs> it's making me cough. It's weird. I'd want to have it with dessert, but let me. I am getting a fruit, but I'm not sure what. Maybe that apple we saw earlier Ooh, today. Maybe yeah, by that raven. <laughs> we saw a raven just like on the corner. I'm gonna say apple. apple. It's apple pie. It's an apple pie. Ready? I definitely got apple. Something like that. Okay, I, I guess we're tasting it. Mm. Holy crap. <coughs> I got like a, a caramel <coughs> undertone when I was drinking it. The burn is real, but. Well, the burn comes it late. It was definite. Um, <coughs> hang on. Mm. It's syrupy. It's so sweet when you drink it. It's like on the tongue. It's sweet, just in your mouth. Just, mm -hmm. just sweet. I need a, uh, like, 
a little bit of like caramel or butterscotch. Um, I don't get the apple on the, on the top, but I, I'm getting this, it's like really not. This is strong. Why does this it one is. feel like it's, it's like is there a, a proof it's on a, Yeah, it's, there's a slow burn. Nice. It's not in my mouth anymore. I just feel it going down my esophagus, just burning all the way down. Maybe I should have put a bottle it's of tongue. Forty-six percent alcohol. Is that a lot? <laughs> I'm suddenly now can't even remember what like flavors we've ever tasted in the past. Let me have a, a drip or two of water and see if it changes anything. This is a drip. Ooh, dizzy. <laughs> See what this opens up. <laughs> what, 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 what was that? What, what, what? What, what? That gnaws it out quite a bit. But there is that second, there's like a burn at the back of the throat afterwards. It's weird, it feels warm too. Now I'm getting more of the spice, the peppery, than I would get. I don't taste the sweet as much after adding water. Yeah, there's a lingering burn on the tongue when you put water on it. Somebody, it feels, it feels fallish to me, like when I'm, I'm looking at our pumpkins and stuff, and it's like something you'd sit by the fire on a cold night, so warm. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's sweet. Maybe. The fruit that we uh, tasted earlier or smelled earlier was like reminiscent of fruitcake? Sure. <laughs> Could be. Sounds good to me. Persimmons mixed with apricots. Oh, no. <laughs> One more try. Let's see if we get anything different. What is that? I think it gets sweet. <gasps> oh my god, that burn. The burn hits late. Mm. Yeah. It like, it like numbs your tongue. I can't get past the sweetness of it. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it an apple. You gonna call it a fruitcake? Sure. But ah. I, I, I don't get as much sweet um, on the, you know, when drinking it as I do when I smell it. That burn, man. Whew. All right, Whew. let's go see how close we are. Okay. That's a very pretty picture. Yeah. So we found this site called the Whiskey Monster. I was talking about this. And uh, straight bourbon, aged 10 years. Okay. Um, to do On the nose, flavors are very centered. Orange, cinnamon, toasted oak, and pears. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. I can see cinnamon. I didn't really get that. I got the sweet. But on the palate, here comes the sweet, according to them. Thick and creamy, sweet pastry custard, caramel. Got that on my nose. Toasted oak and milk chocolate. So my, I, I said sweet, which you did. Basically, is just everything there. Yeah, I did say it was syrupy when I drank it. That's it the thick and creamy. Thick, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe that's what gives it the the, the warmth yeah. that I kind of felt. Perhaps finish juicy, soft, uh -huh. juicy. not soft, not soft. Juicy, soft corns, chestnut, and cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of the cinnamon. So. Sorry, I'm still coughing on the um, the spice on that one, man. <laughs> so, um, what did you think, Ken? I I thought it was really good, just a little strong, but I love the sweetness and the the warmth of it. Yeah, I did like the sweetness. I tend to like that, but I almost like the Willets a little bit more. I know some people are like, "What? Are you crazy?" I don't know if you remember the Willets, yeah, but eh. but um, because this one was definitely more aggressive, hotter, spicier. Um, I did like it. I would give it a three out of five. What about you, Thing? Four. Okay, cool. So again, that's Bib and Tucker. <laughs> not what you not were thinking. Not Bib No, you said something else too, but uh, not that. But anyway, so you know, if, if you guys like a good strong bourbon, absolutely pick this up. It was it was pretty good. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.